Hey guys, and welcome back to Swami Studios. I am your host, Mullen Swami. Today I'm bringing you guys another episode of VGC 2016 Analysis, where I show you my team, I show you their team, and we go into a battle and I kind of break down what happens and my thought process going through it. After this one, there's going to be one more battle, and then I'm going to start documenting the teams I face for these. Um, I'll do my best to do so, because obviously I only, I'm only i not going to record every one of them, and I'm not exactly doing it sitting at my desk with a pen and paper always available. So we'll see. I'll probably take a picture of every team, and if I get a good game, I'll keep it, and if not, then I won't. But that way I can kind of give you an idea of what I have and what they have to help the decision-making process. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let the battle run, and then we're gonna circle back around and you guys get to see, because this is one of my better battles that I've done so far in VGC 2016. So, I'll be right back. All right, so I bring Thunderous, Kangaskhan, Kyogre, and Ferrothorn. He's going to bring Xerneas, Groudon, Talonflame, and Khan. I expected Xerneas, Groudon, Khan, and most likely Talonflame. So I brought Thunderous because Thunderous can deal with Talonflame, Khan, and can deal great damage to Xerneas, plus can taunt it, plus can 
uh, do pretty good damage with Wild Charge. And the Groudon I can deal with, with Khan, with Kyogre, and I can at least bring Ferrothorn just in case as a secondary measure for uh, Xerneas. So I didn't really feel like bringing the Smeargle into this type of matchup. And that's also part of my uncomfortability with Smeargle as a whole and it being Scarfed. So I really didn't want to do that. I didn't feel being Scarfed that I could maneuver out of a Kangaskhan lead because I would have to spike his shield or fake out on the first turn and it just would have been a, a wreck and I feel like it would have just gone down too easily. If, like I said, if it was Focus Sash, it would be a lot better. And after the next battle you're going to see, I switch that up. So. There was that. And then my last Pokemon, of course, is Xerneas, and Xerneas doesn't deal all that well with either Xerneas, Talonflame, or Groudon. So I thought, okay, let's not bring it. Let's go with these four, and Ferrothorn's a good switch into a Xerneas Brave, uh, into a Xerneas, into a Talonflame Brave Bird, into a Kangaskhan. And I could also fizzle out any uh, Flare Blitzes or Fire-type attacks from the Groudon, and at least return decent damage with the Gyro Ball or Leech Seed. So, with that being said, let's get into it. I'm gonna lead with Thunderous, and I'm gonna lead with Kangaskhan. I'm expecting a Kangaskhan Talonflame lead or something of that nature. So, my win condition immediately is to prevent the Talonflame from going for a, uh, a Tailwind. So, he's gonna lead Talonflame Kangaskhan. Now, Talonflame is a very support Pokemon in this format, so it's going to carry Braver, it's going to carry Flare Blitz, it's going to carry Quick Guard, it could carry Taunt, usually it's Quick Guard, and then usually it's Tailwind. So, basically, I knew that if Talonflame got up Tailwind and stuck around at any point, we were screwed. So, he knows that Tailwind is going to be vital for him in this matchup. So, he's not going to go for the Tailwind first turn because I have the fake out pressure. What he's going to do is, he's not gonna bank on the fact that he can outspeed me. He's not gonna bank on the fact that I'm not gonna mega evolve and be inner focus. He's gonna go for the quick guard. And that was my anticipation. I'm gonna punish him for going for the quick guard. And I'm going to actually protect my Kangaskhan because if he wants to fake out me, that's fine. If he wants to go for a low kick or something of that nature onto the Kangaskhan, Fine. If he wants to fake out Thunderous to prevent the Thunder Wave, fine. Because obviously most Kangaskhan do not carry Protect, so I'm playing the mind game right there that by protecting, instead of going into the uh, fake out, which is obvious, I'm going to protect my Khan for this turn, and I'm going to punish the Talonflame if it goes for a Quick Guard by wild charging into it. So we'll see what happens here. So I go for the Mega Evolution. I do Mega Evolve first. I don't think it was a speed tie because I feel like throughout the battle I outsped his Kangaskhan consistently. I'm complete max speed, max, uh, what's it, Jolly, uh, I think it's Jolly, and max speed. I'm actually faster than my Thunderous, which is kind of funny. I'm 166, 167 on Kangaskhan, and I am 153 on Thunderous. So he does go for the quick guard. And I wild charge into the Talonflame. Because they're not focus sash, that thing goes down easily. Adamant, wild charge, thunderous. Insane. It's, it's faster than the Kangaskhan already because it's base 90. I'm faster than it before it mega evolves. And he goes for the low kick. So he's utterly in a terrible position right now. And I, I believe it's adamant because of what you'll see in this next turn. But now he has two options. He either brings in the Xerneas, he brings in the Groudon. If you bring in the Xerneas, you don't bring in the Xerneas, basically. That's not the right move here, because Thunderous can completely neutralize Xerneas in its own way. It can uh, Thunder Wave it, it can also uh, taunt it into out of its Geomancy. So if you bring in Xerneas, you're protecting. If you bring in Groudon, you have immediate offensive pressure. And my opponent brings in Xerneas. So he's expecting that he's going to probably go for a Protect here, and the Kangaskhan is going to target down the Thunders. Now, I was willing to give up Thunderous in this turn, because if I give up Thunderous, then, you know, it's whatever. He, he did his part. He can do good damage to Xerneas, and he can deal with it, but it's not a huge deal. So Xerneas is going to come out, and what's going to happen is he doesn't Protect. So, I go for the double edge. I, I'm covering all my bases here because I know that 
Kangaskhan can do massive damage to Xerneas. That, that was a given. I was willing to trade something here. So if I can deal massive damage to Xerneas with Kangaskhan, then it's kind of ineffective because I can sucker punch it, I can deal with it in many ways. If he protects, then nothing happens. If Kangaskhan goes after Thunderous, then I lose Thunderous and that's it. If he goes after my Kangaskhan, I might lose Kangaskhan, but Thunderous will take out the Khan because I'm Life Orb, Adamant, Physical, Thunderous, and I have the beautiful move known as Superpower. So he actually goes for a Dazzling Gleam here. It doesn't take out either Pokemon. He didn't go for the Geomancy. I think he was afraid of the Taunt. He really should have protected that turn. Um, going for the Dazzling Gleam really didn't make a whole lot of sense because of a lot of reasons, but now I'm gonna go for the superpower and watch the power of this Thunderous. One shot, one kill, didn't even see it coming. Gonna drop the stage and attack in defense. I KO myself due to the Life Orb, which is probably the best possible thing to have happen here, because that means that I get a free switch into one of two Pokemon, and I'm gonna bring in Ferrothorn, because I'm not gonna risk the weather being against me here. So what I'm gonna do is I could switch into Kyogre, but Ferrothorn's meaning in this matchup has already been fulfilled. Xerneas is basically done. So basically what I can do here is I can protect Kangaskhan and I can go for an attack onto Xerneas. So if Ferrothorn goes down to a fire type attack from the Groudon, then I bring in Kyogre. And if not, then I don't. He goes for the Protect, I go for the Protect. So I burn Xerneas' Protect, he goes for Precipice Blades, it misses Ferrothorn, the Gyro Ball goes into the Protect. So I burn Xerneas' Protect, I burn mine as well. I should expect uh, Ferrothorn to go down this turn, so I'm just gonna go for a Leech Seed on the Groudon if he wants to make a mistake. If he goes for the Precipice Blades and doesn't KO me, then I'm gonna do that. But I'm going to go and I'm going to attack the Xerneas, and take it out this turn. So it'll be the Groudon versus the Ferrothorn and Kangaskhan at the very best case scenario. And if he goes for Precipice Blades, he KOs Khan, he doesn't KO Ferrothorn, and I take out the Xerneas and Kyogre comes in. So this battle's pretty much won at this point. So he's gonna go for the Double Protect, it fails, Double Edge comes out, I'm not gonna risk a Sucker Punch, I know I'm faster than both of his Pokemon. And that takes out the Xerneas, so then he's gonna actually go for a Flamethrower instead of an Eruption. Interesting move. If he went for the eruption, he would have cleared the field, but he still wouldn't be able to defeat my uh, Kyogre unless I missed a Origin Pulse, but I have Water Spout as well. So that pretty much seals things up. Um, if he wants to go for, because now he has to go for a Precipice Blades or a non-Fire type move because the Primordial Seat comes out. So I'm going to actually protect the Kangaskhan because I'm not going to risk it going down to a both of them going down, maybe a crit. I'm gonna keep it spread damage. No reason not to. Go for the safe protect. I'm gonna go for the water spout. I outspeed the Groudon, and I take it out with the water spout because that thing cannot withstand a water spout no matter what. So that's the battle. We take it 2-0, and it was pretty dominant fashion. As soon as we took out the Talonflame, uh, my opponent was on their heels, and that was the pretty much the extent of the battle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. Let me know what you think of this style because I really enjoy doing it. If you guys enjoy it too, I'll keep it going. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Moonlight Swami and I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace.